So you just got into medical school and you are feeling like a king or a queen. You finally have fulfilled your lifelong ambition. You're going to be a doctor. Let me repeat that. You are going to be a doctor. You will get to help people in their time of need, diagnose complicated problems, and operate on life-threatening issues. And for your efforts, you're going to be handsomely rewarded. Gross $350,000, net $250,000 on average. The guaranteed ticket to the one percenters. What could be better, right? Well, not so fast. Did you know that a significant number of doctors are hefes? Ever hear of that? They are high earners, few assets yet. And the sad fact is that many doctors are not only hefes, they're what I like to call henges. High earners never going to have assets. And just to bring this concept home, here are three fast facts. Number one, a number of physicians over the age of 60 feel that they cannot retire and have to live paycheck to paycheck. Number two, doctors are not in the top three professions when it comes to becoming a millionaire. Know which ones are? Teachers, accountants, and engineers. And number three, a study of 10,000 millionaires showed that 69% had an income of less than $100,000. So how is it that a physician with an annual income of over $250,000 is not on the list? Well, it all boils down to a lack of understanding of finance, and sadly, a few bad habits, like spending all your money because you're going to make lots of it down the road, right? Or worse, taking out loans to fund your Lux IG lifestyle. You know the one with the fancy cars, the bottles of expensive champagne, or the beautiful handbags. If that sounds like you, don't worry. There is hope. I wanted to introduce you to the SAVE framework for making sure that you meet your financial targets. This is all aimed at you reaching your number, which I define as the number you need in your bank account invested at 5%. That is going to allow you to enjoy the lifestyle that you want to live when you retire and never have to touch the principal. My SAVE framework is what I teach all of my medical students when we have some downtime in the clinic and is what I have personally used to build my financial habits. S. Spend less. The key is to spend less than you make. I have a friend who is well into a credit line even though they make over $500,000 per year. A is for advice. Speak to financial advisors who understand the specific needs of physicians so you can get highly personalized service. V is for value. What I mean by this is collect assets that will appreciate in value over time. This does not include most fancy cars and luxury items. As a rule, Debt that helps finance your education is good, but debt that finances your lifestyle is bad. And lastly, E is for exercise, as in exercise daily wealth habits, because it is the sum of micro choices that is going to get you there. Things like foregoing the expensive daily latte or the weekly truffle pasta will do wonders for the health of your savings account, not to mention your coronaries and liver. One quick caveat about this framework. The reality is that the sooner you master these skills, the faster you will start to accumulate wealth. And the earlier you're in, the more your nest egg will grow because of the effect of compounding interest. So start to use my save model and begin your journey to financial mastery. By doing so, you will say goodbye to the world of the jefe and instead will choose the road to financial freedom.